Hey guys, what's up? So today I wanted to talk about my five top hydrating lip balms. Like these are the five most hydrating lip balms I have in my entire lip balm collection and I thought this would be a great video to kind of do right now since winter is coming and it's very cold and today I am so freezing. That's why I have my beanie on. So first up, I have to mention Lips of Lip Balm because this is my most favorite holy grail lip balm. Whenever I mention other lip balms, I always get asked like people kind of freak out and they're like, but do you still like lips on? I'm like, yes, like this is always going to be number one for me. So, well, I'm pretty sure it is. I mean, I haven't found anything that works as quickly and as good as this for my lips. Plus, this is only $3 at the drugstore. You can find it at Walmart, Walgreens. I think even Rite Aid has it and some CVSs have it. I have a full review on this, so I will link it down below. I did it like last year, so it's an old review, but everything that I said in that review is still true about this. It's just a great formula. It is really lightweight, it smells minty, and it's refreshing refreshing but at the same time it really does heal my lips it's really lightweight and it quickly absorbs into my lips so it's perfect for daytime even underneath matte lipsticks I'm wearing this right now underneath my MAC lipstick I have this is pink plaid I'm wearing today and this it just works so well like you can wear this before you go to bed at night anytime I put this on like all times of the day I have one of these in my purse always like I don't go anywhere without this like even if I don't have a purse on me if I'm just going somewhere really quick I got this in my pocket by the way I'm not sponsored or affiliated with Lipsil. Just so you guys know, like, I just want to make that very clear. I just really like this product. Actually, I love this product. What am I saying? I love this stuff. It is so good. Um, speaking of another lip balm that I've really been loving, this is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Lip Therapy Lip Balm. This stuff is the bomb. It's really good. It's a little bit more pricey than Lipsil. I think it's like eight bucks at Sephora. So kind of pricey for a lip balm, yes, but it really does work, especially for those of you who have really sensitive sensitive skin. This is fragrance free, petroleum free, and also it doesn't have any phthalates or parabens. Like I have maybe half of it left. This is just a squeezy tube, has a little applicator like this, and it does have a scent to it even though it's fragrance free. It smells kind of minty. Just a little bit though. It's not like as strong as the Lipsil is. This is great for people who don't like anything extra added into their formulas, like nothing artificial. I definitely recommend this because it really works and it's also pretty good. You know, as far as the ingredients go, it's really awesome and great for sensitive skin. First Aid Beauty, I've been trying out their face products as well and I've really been loving it. Another great high-end option that I really have to mention because it's just so beautiful like in every way is the Fresh Sugar Lip Balm in the shade Cherry. I have tried so many of their shades like I've had rose tulip I've had the original the original is great as well they all have a really nice scent to them like it's just sweet but it's not it's like naturally sweet I can't describe it, it just smells like sugar really it's so good and I love this one because it's just a beautiful red and it actually packs a lot of color like this is more tinted than a Maybelline baby lips and that's why I love this so much because it's kind of like it looks like you're wearing a lipstick but it feels like a really nice moisturizing lip balm I'll show you guys a swatch of it just because of how beautiful it is like this is so pigmented I really this is like a fancier version of Maybelline cherry this me. is great for people who want something that's going to give their lips a really nice color payoff but also protect them in the colder weather or just kind of keep your lips feel moisturized like if you if you aren't a lipstick kind of girl you should really check out these fresh sugar lip balms because they have a lot of different colors and I think right now because it's kind of like Christmas holiday time they have a bunch of like holiday gift sets of these where you can have like multiple like little different colors and stuff so definitely check this out if you guys haven't because they are just so gorgeous and my next lip balm here is the CO Bigelow Mentha lip balm stick it says it's made with 100% natural mint and you can find this at Bath and Body Works for about I think eight dollars or 750 but they always have sales on these like buy two get one free I don't have any other lip balms that are quite like this one just because the formula on this is kind of thicker than your average lip balm I mean it's definitely um, you can feel it when it's on your lips it's not very lightweight so I kind of like to wear this one more at night and I don't really like to wear this under lipsticks as much as I do like with say Lipsil but I still really love the way that it adds I feel like it really adds a layer of like moisture and it's kind of like instantly refreshing and moisturizing it adds a little bit of like a tingle to your lips because of how minty it is like this is seriously minty it smells like peppermint straight like just straight up peppermint and it's really just very moisturizing and it just you know when you put it on 
you feel it and it's definitely there so it might be something you want to use as a mask. I also really like the packaging. I just love this black tube. I feel like it's really sleek and I don't know. I just really like it and I have used this for a long time. I just repurchased it maybe like a couple months ago so I'm really happy to like have this again in my collection and here's what it looks like. It's just a white lip balm. Nothing too spectacular but I'm telling you guys like this is really great stuff especially for winter especially if it's really windy outside like this is going to be one you're going to want to pop on your lips. Kind of reminds me of the Nivea lip butters but in a like a stick form so if you're a fan of these which I kind of wanted to give a little mention in this video if you like these Nivea lip butters you're definitely going to want to check this out because it's kind of along the same formula like they're both I would say they're very close but this is a little bit more um, easier to apply just because it has a like a stick tube form and I also really like the Nivea lip butter so I wanted to quickly mention this it's a cheat I actually added an extra one in but don't tell on me this is raspberry rose kiss they also have a couple other flavors but this one is my absolute favorite because you guys know me I love anything raspberry it's so good it's really cute it has like a pink tint and it is a little bit um you know it is a little thick so I like to use this as a mask like overnight I had to mention these Revo lip balms you guys know I've really been obsessed with Revo ever since I first tried them I want to say in summer the summertime I think is when I first tried them and I've been hooked ever since they have so many different flavors they come out with like these collections this is the holiday collection so this is the one like you can get right now for Christmas and they look like little Christmas ornaments so cute I have a full review on this collection so I will link it down below for you guys to check out but basically I just wanted to give Revo's a shout out because they need their own like I think I might do like a Revo collection I swear because these are just so good and I can't stop mentioning them because they just smell great they really moisturize and they're so much fun right now I've been obsessed with this one called red velvet cupcake it looks red but it's just a clear bomb and it smells like a real red velvet cake which is you know dangerous because it makes me want to go down to like Stater Brothers buy some red velvet cake and just eat it all myself all right guys so that's it for my top five hydrating lip balm video I hope you all enjoyed it. I had so much fun kind of just sitting down and talking about some great lip balms. I feel like I kind of neglect like certain lip balms in my collection and I never talk about them. Like I don't know if I should do reviews on individual lip balms if that would be interesting or not. So let me know if you guys want to see any reviews on these um, if I haven't done them already. Like if you want to see a review on this lip balm from the CO Bigelow or like the First Aid. I don't know if you guys would be interested in like little lip balm reviews but I could do that. Like I should just start doing that. I don't know why I haven't. Of course, don't forget to let me know what your most hydrating lip balm is because I would love to chat with you guys about lip balm. I just love talking to you guys in general. Make sure you have your replies turned on because I'm going to comment back to you guys and talk to you all about lip balms and I'm just like, I don't know what I'm doing over here. I'm just so excited. So I can't wait to hear from you all. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Stop.